come and run. How's your day going? It could be very, <laughs> yeah, leave that one there. Um, did, uh, some of you may have seen that little community post I put out saying that um, we won't be putting a video out until, um, yeah, I wasn't be, I'd be a while before I put any videos out. I will say this is the little whip and chat to up, go, update you guys. Um, yeah, on Monday, so I'm going to share with you, it's a funny story how it came about, um, but what actually eventuated was not good, but it was good that it was picked up before anything happened. Um, basically, Monday morning, I had a little bit of an issue needed to go to hospital and um, called Nathan because the last time I took myself to hospital and he wasn't around he was very upset with me so I called him and he came and picked me up and took me to the hospital all right so don't ask <laughs> but while there and having the tests all these tests done it was a case of they're doing blood tests the, the, they were doing the sugar test for diabetes yep and I turned around and said oh check his sugar too to see how that's going ah uh, yeah the nurse did and then she was like oh my god I am so sorry I shouldn't have done that I um that is high. that is dangerous that is high I shouldn't have done that I can't because I've done this test I, you know, she she was she was stuck in you know, between a rock and a high place. At that time, we didn't understand. We knew she was saying it was high. We didn't realize how high. Um, so and, and like, for every time after that she came in to do any checks on me, she was uncomfortable. So Nathan actually made an appointment to see the doctor that afternoon. So there's the funny story. Is we discovered that. He has diabetes um, because I went to hospital unwell. <laughs> so there's the funny side. Um, yeah. So he, we went to, I was discharged um, from hospital with a, a letter to take to my GP. Um, but um, we went to visit, go, you know, Nathan went to the doctors and, you know, I went with him and, you know, he turned around and the doctor said, right, oh, what's, what can we do for you? And Nathan's turned around and said, oh, I need to have my blood sugar tested because apparently it's high. Oh my God, you know, the doctors, you know, this is the first time Nathan's seen him. Um, but what aspired from that is like the doctor's gone, what made you, why are you coming in to get this done? Has something happened? Do you have any side effects? Rah, rah. And they said, no, no side effects. And he turned around and he told him what happened. And he said, so I'm coming in to have my blood sugar tested to, to see if there's anything we need to worry about. Um, all righty, okay, well, we'll just test your blood pressure first. Does his blood test blood pressure and then what comes up on the monitor is very scary and then he turned the doctor turns around and said to him um just sit back and relax just calm down at this stage nathan is as calm as he normally is you know no issue just sit back lean back in the chair relax don't talk hmm he did his blood pressure three times. And then he turned around and said, right, we're going to get you in a position where you're a bit more comfortable. And I'm going to give you 10 minutes to relax. And then we're going to, I'm going to get the nurse to do that again. And she can give you a blood sugar test at the same time.
Um, yeah. I don't know how many people are with nurses out there that are watching this. When we um, <laughs> there's me in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, unrelated. Anyway, um, yeah. They, the nurse, when she did hers, her test, that was his blood pressure. And that had actually come down from when he was in at the doctor's. Um, so yeah, stroke candidate. And then they did his blood sugars. Mm. 28.9. If you understand diabetes, 28.9. Um, yeah. So we, we've, we've had a bit of a, a shock. Um, GP's just turned around and said, Rightio, you're going to go to the hospital and they're going to assess you. They'll put you in a hospital. They'll get your, they need to get your diabetes under control and then we will work on your high blood pressure because either you're going to go, and go, you're going to go into a diabetic coma or you're going to have a stroke. Or both. The way you are at the moment, that's what's going to happen. So <laughs> we went to the hospital, into emergency, with a alert narrative from his doctor. We sat in emergency for four hours. At one point there I was kicked out because there was too many people in the waiting rooms so that only the sick could be there. The people that brought them in had to stand outside in the cold. <laughs> but he was there for four hours. Yeah. And then because he's, we don't know how long he's been this way, but because his body was so used to it, they weren't thinking there was anything wrong with him and they've done the tests and just gone, oh, well, we'll just give you these drugs so you can go home and go and see your GP. Um, yeah, so we went home. He was inside emergency being seen for less than two hours. Um, so we'd gone home and then made an appointment in the morning. Nathan made an appointment to go and see, see him see his GP and his GP is doing what are you doing here <laughs> and Nathan told him um, so yeah um, we've had fun couple of days I mean today is Wednesday well, it was Wednesday night so it's been just over 24 hours um, the whirlwind of it all. Um, I'm sitting here drilling and chilling because I have to. Um, I don't have to, but it's helping. But I'm not doing much else. Um, yeah. So, little bit, little bit happened, and it was like, okay. Um, bring it back to the channel um, the Sophie and Toffee stuff that I poured and demolded and I still got more to do with that but I just can't do that um, I've I did my, I stuffed my cash envelopes today which is supposed to come out on Friday that should be out I've got other stuff that I filmed and I'm now in the stage so I've filmed a lot of stuff already but I can't sit down and concentrate to edit so it's going to be a bit of a mishmash of what's going on at the moment but um, the essential thing is is that i'm here for nathan and we're having to look at diet um, we're having to look at all sorts of things like we've got now got a blood pressure pressure he tests his blood pressure twice a day he's testing his blood sugar levels twice a day um, you know and as you know, next appointment with the doctor is organising a plan for 
uh, seeing a dietitian and diabetic specialist, you know, all of this stuff. Um, and like we've had two visits with the doctor, one at the hospital. Um, every other bit of information we've gained is basically from pharmacists who have been very, oh, very, very helpful, especially when they said, oh, they say, oh, when were you diagnosed? And it's like, uh, a couple of hours ago. <laughs> That didn't go. Yeah, 24 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, the reaction is quite priceless. Um, Nathan and I, well, me, I have a bad habit of, I always look on the funny side of th anything that goes wrong. Anything that goes wrong, I try and look at the funny side of things. Um, and this is not funny, but I'm still we're still finding the funny side. Um, but yeah, we had... Uh, a lot of advice from a couple of pharmacists. Um, Nathan went and got his eyes tested today because that was one thing that he'd been complaining about was his eyesight was getting worse, rapidly worse, um, which is diabetes. Um, but yeah, he went in to get his eyes tested and they did the test and they said, well, we're not going to assess you for new glasses yet because you're on tablets, it'll stabilise you. We might, we'll just wait and see what happens. So I come back in about two to three weeks once you're a bit more stable and then we can look at even just in from today and then we can see the difference in your eyesight. Um, yeah, so you got a lot of information there. It's gone to the private health fund to talk to them about equipment because we got the glucose monitor from the pharmacist with a receipt but <laughs> the blood pressure monitor I actually bought on Amazon and paid because I'm Amazon Prime I got you know I get good freight but I paid an extra $12 I think it was paid an extra $12 to for same day delivery so if you live in Perth and you do same day delivery generally you expect it will actually be there the next day not the same day but I ordered this machine, I think it was about half past one, Tuesday afternoon, and it was on our door at 4.30 in the afternoon. Nathan could not believe it. Um, I have before had same day delivery for something, and it did, it actually did arrive the same day. It, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yet again, it was via DHL. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, so you know, there's just getting advice from other sources because, well, you don't get enough time with the doctor. So which is where he's got. We're going to have to go and see a dietitian and a diabetes specialist. Um, but all that's going to be happening, start being organised next week. At the moment, we're just fumbling. I've taken two days leave. Um, because Wednesday, Thursday, today is Wednesday. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to be at day shift today, and um, when everything happened with Nathan, you know, I've done that. the first the first thing I have done when we've walked out of the out of the seeing the doctor, and I was taking him to emergency. Uh, just the walk to the car, I rung up my work and gone. I won't be in for the first two day shifts. This is what's happened. Um, I should be there for night shift, but at the moment I need to be there for Nathan. Yep, no worries. <clears throat> um, but I mean, his... You, you, mm, yeah, you don't know what to say. Um, <clears throat> it didn't hit him. 24 hours after him first being told you're a diabetic <laughs> it didn't hit him for 24 hours and then I don't think it I think he's being brave around me I will say that I will say that he's being very brave about it um yeah that's what's happened um, I will try and get the usual videos out but there's some of the stuff that I just 
Um, if I've got to do a lot of editing to put a video together, I can't do that. Whereas if I, <laughs> uh, today I did the envelope stuffing and as I was playing, well playing the money, putting all the money in the cash envelopes, I thought I'd actually hit the record button for the time lapse. That didn't happen. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of videos that I've but done that need editing, um, and I just I can't concentrate on editing at the moment. So uh, I think I could be forgiven for for not getting videos out, even after I've just started with a working having a planner there. I know I have things that I can put out. I've got so that the Finance Friday, which is the envelope stuffing, that's that's going to take me all of about thirty minutes to get to the point where I could just upload it. Um, or Chatterday, I'll be doing that. I'll record that on Friday. Um, I can't remember. Plan with me. I've got the plan with me already recorded, I think. Maybe I haven't. <laughs> okay, this is this is where it, now. Yeah, so the plan with me, I'm not sure where I'm at with the plan with me. Um, Monday mail, I've got a heap of stuff that's come in. Um, so I've got those videos, but they don't take much to put together. But it's... The one that I'm disappointed I'm not able to do is the Sophie and Toffee because that needs more time and a lot more effort and concentration and I haven't completed the project yet so there's you know because that was the day that I was supposed to be doing all of that was Monday when this happens so yeah but we'll battle through um, anybody out there that uh, has diabetes um, I don't want too much advice I will say not too much advice because it's coming from everywhere it's coming from everywhere but it's coming from nowhere but um, the struggle with food and what can be eaten and can't be eaten and Nathan is a he loves his bread he loves he'll eat a sandwich a slice of three slices of bread plus some other stuff you know half an hour before dinner you know that's his that's his snack he comes home and has a snack before dinner um, you know and try he's been told he can have some brown bread or some wholemeal bread um, but um, how do I put it He's having more than just one slice, and he's trying to factor that into his diet of having being able to have a, you know, eggs on toast in the morning, and then be able to have a, a sandwich at night time. Um, and yeah, I mean, he said, oh, "I can have brown bread." It's like, yeah, occasionally one slice. Um, he has today, and I can't say, and you've tried. He has today had, I think, four slices of bread today. Yeah. Um, but he you know, did his blood sugars this morning and his heart rate, his blood pressure. Um, and then he went, did what he had to do um, at you know, with the private health fund and at the optometrist. And then he's come back and he's like, oh, well, I, I'm just going to test and see what my blood's like now. And it was actually up from when he tested it in the morning before he went, because he had to have blood tests this morning on fasting. Yeah, and it was up. And he's like, how can it be up? This is all I've eaten. And it's like, well, bread. No, but I'm allowed bread. It's like, yeah, no. And it's like mandarins. Oh, I'm allowed mandarins. Yeah, one. Nathan's version of a mandarin is three or four. 
but it's going to take a dietitian and a diabetes specialist to actually get it into his head. Uh, we're having fun at the moment with sugar. Looking at what's got sugar, looking at what's got carbohydrates. So yeah, that's that's where the struggle is at now. I'm going to finish this section off. Um, I'll just quickly throw this video up <laughs> and it will be a quick throw up <laughs> uh, just to get it out there. Uh, at the moment, I will try and stick to the schedule that I've set um, but just as a heads up, you know, they just won't be within the, yeah. Anyway, enjoy what videos that come out and um, I dare say when I do um, I'll do when I do another chatter day, not this chatter day, um, but when I do uh, this, I think this chatter day I will actually do it, I'll just give an unboxing instead of a chatter day because uh, I had a package come in that I, I want to really put out there for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, it's a case of hmm. I, on, or instead of a chat today, you'll get just a, an unboxing and uh, you'll know when I'm back fully into the swing of things. And you'll still see stuff, but um, a lot of, like the stuff that with work at Wednesday, the work at Wednesday stuff and the Sophie and Toffee, Toffee Tuesday, um, at the moment that's, I have the concentration span of a gnat to deal with it. Yes, I said that. <laughs> yes, mayhem, I said it. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more little updates on what's going on. And um, yeah, let's see how we go. I will say, Gems, thank you for listening and uh, bye for now.